How do there guys and welcome back to Edgar TV where it's another equipment based video as part of this equipment series. It was a video that I put out last week where we talked about different flights and you guys loved it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of a series on different types of equipment. Stems is something that is coming up quite regular and there's not a lot of information out there about stems and how that actually affects the flight of the dart and what it does for the dart. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at three different areas in which this can be affected. We're going to look at the speed of the dart and how fast it travels to the board. We're going to look at the angle that it lands in the board and how that is changed. And also we're going to try and map the flight path to see the journey of the dart moving towards the dart board. Now the, fl the, the flights, the stems that we're going to use, we're going to look at a short and a medium. So the two stems here, one is a 34 millimeter stem, the other is a 48 millimeter stem, and then sort of just work out in between in the middle what those ones would be. So we're gonna look at a 34 and a 48. First up is the angle of entry into the dartboard. Okay, so from this awesome camera angle here, you'll be able to see the angle of the entry of the dart from this side view of the board. And what we've got first of all, like it's on the screen, short stems. These are the 34 millimeter stems. And what we're looking at here is the angle of the entry of the board. And you'll see it's slightly lifted. So the dart's not sitting flat. It's slightly up with the flight sticking upwards, coming down towards the point. So the short stems is actually supporting that slight angle, that slight lift on the dart. Whereas the medium stems you'll see here actually are sort of flattening them out. Now this is something I used to do by putting on a slim flight to really flatten out the darts. But you'll see here that the medium stems are actually flattening them out as well. So you see much flatter, more material on the back, adds a little bit more weight which will stabilise the dart a little bit more. Flatten it out, a bit more javelin-esque in the air which we'll have a look at later see if we get that same sort of effect but definitely a huge difference there in the angle of entry on the board when looking between the two different types of um, stems there so you see it's a lot more flatter on the medium ones and when you look side by side you can really see the comparison and really see the difference the short stems here above me here you see sort of at an angle where the flight's more up coming down to the point angling into the board both of these throws was just done with my normal natural throw. I didn't change anything, I just literally threw the dart, holding the dart in the same place, and releasing it exactly the same as I normally would. And you can clearly see the difference. Now, one of the reasons will be, you know, the length will change, obviously, things such as uh, balance point, centre of mass is going to move slightly. Also, there's more material on the back, which is going to level the dart out a little bit more as well. So with that in mind, it's going to be interesting to look at the other two areas. One, if the dart travels to the board exactly the same way, or if there's going to be some turns or some things going on in the air, we'll have a look at some slow-mo shots of that. But first of all, what we've got to do is see if they travel to the board the same amount of time. Now, if you saw the flight video, what I'm going to do from this, it's the second the dart releases out of my hand, so the second my fingers come off the dart, and until the point where the dart breaks the fascia of the board. So not fully penetrate, just so it hits the front part of the board. Okay, so for the speed test, what I did is this, where I got the video, I slowed it right down where two seconds worth of footage turns into two minutes, 25.6 seconds. And you can see just how slow I'm moving here. And what I do is what I did on the last one, I go from the point it leaves my hand to the point it penetrates the board, and we have a look and we compare the data and the differences. How that works. Short stems, these are what I play with anyway. So we, we kind of know what I'm going to do with uh, kite flight and short stems is 0.33 seconds to get to the board. I did redo this again and the findings were pretty much exactly the same as an average. Medium stems though on the other hand, the average was 0.43 seconds. A significant difference in the findings. Also, this went up to a maximum of a 0.47 over the, the minutes that I watched back to, to get the the data. So a huge difference there. Now it might not look something 0.10 of a second or 0.14 of a second, but when we compare that to a comparison in percentage terms, medium stems are 35% slower in traveling to the board 
Now this could be due to the extra bit of weight and materials, the fact that it's longer. Like I said, the throws was exactly the same. This was judged over a long period of time and 35% difference on the medium stems for the speed travelling to the board. Now, let's have a look at the actual journey of the dart to see if we can spot a reason maybe as to why this may be. Does, does it make the darts kick or do they just go on their journey exactly the same just 35% slower. So using this slow motion shot, what we're gonna do is gonna watch the dart and how it travels through the air. And you can see from this shot, this sort of side on looking over the top, these are the stems that I'd normally use, like a shorter stem. These was the 34 millimeter stems. And you'll see as they go through the air here, nice and smooth, landing flat, just angling slightly as the dart gets to the board. It just takes over as the point and the weight of the dart starts to pull it down. And it just gives you that slight lift by the time it hits the board. If you watch again here, you'll see it travel through the air. Then the dart takes over and it just sort of drops in. When we're using the longer stems, now there's not too much of a difference. You'll see here most of the time, all the way through the journey here, it's pretty much the same journey of the dart. The only difference I can see is very, very slight, and that is at the end of the journey, where I said before that the point takes over and takes a little bit of a dive towards the board. With these longer stems, you'll see that actually it just stays flatter, 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 and it's just a more direct shot. Let's just watch that again here quickly. So you'll see, watch the flight of the darts. Just the end bit there, just as it gets towards the edge of the board. All this is the same, comes out the hand the same, flies the same, and it just stays tail end down for a little bit longer. And that's what helps with this angle as well. It just keeps it a little bit flatter. The length of it, like I said, will change the centre of mass, will move it very, very slightly back, which will help it stay flatter. And the extra material on the back is weighing the back down slightly more, which obviously is going to keep that a little bit flatter in the board as well. That's the difference between these two. It's the angle of entry. It's that slight little bit of dip at the end where it just stays flatter for a little bit longer. And the big difference, 35% slower to the board. 35%. That's a lot. So what's the difference between stems, guys? That's it is. I'm going to do a few more videos on this sort of thing, on equipment. What's the difference between these sort of equipment and that sort of equipment? Make sure you like this video, guys. That's the thumbs up underneath. If you're new around here, subscribe to the channel because there's going to be lots more content like this coming soon. And I'll catch you soon for some more Edgar TV and darts experiments.